Kyushu Institute of Technology is a major space and satellite research center. It's located in Kita Kyushu, Japan. Through its English-based Space Engineering International course, it has served students from over 25 countries since its inception. It has also partnered with the United Nations for Outer Space Affairs and the Government of Japan to establish the Postgraduate Study on Nanosatellite Technologies, the PNST uh, Fellowship Program. This program targets building capacity for non-space-faring nations. I am from Kenya and I am a beneficiary of this scholarship. On 18th January this year, Professor Mwangi Mbudhia, the Dean School of Engineering at the University of Nairobi, paid the institution a visit. He was welcomed and held meeting with Professor Mengu Cho, the Director of the Space Program here at QTEC and the Principal Investigator, BUDS Project. He had a facility to of the research and the testing centers. This gave him first-hand experience of the full satellite ecosystem from sessions with both the faculty and the students. That's the sun right now. Yeah, the sun right now. So what does it mean now? So it's telling me yeah, it's going to be this, uh, the beacon. One of the main assets of QTEC is its world-class facilities for space research and satellite development. Uh, these facilities are located within the Laboratory of Spacecraft Environment Interaction Engineering and the Center for Nanosatellite Testing. The Center for Nanosatellite Testing was established in 2010 and back then it was the world's first nanosatellite test facility designed specifically to test satellites whose dimensions are under 50 centimeters per side and under 50 kilograms. The importance of these facilities is that they offer all the tests for nanosatellites except radiation tests under one roof. This facility is one of its kind in Japan and has so far tested over 50 nanosatellites. This is uh, the vibration test uh, machine uh, where the vibration test for the various components of the satellites um, is conducted. So this ensures that we are able to test um, the behavior of the satellite uh, during its launch because it experiences uh, quite a number of vibrations and therefore this machine is to to simulate that, that kind of environment and see whether our the, the satellite is well built to withstand that kind of vibration uh, during the launch. And then on the other side is the shock uh, test machine. And this is to, uh, to simulate the rocket launch uh, shock that a satellite experiences vacuum chamber uh, but this a much bigger um, chamber which is used to test uh, much larger satellites but for most of the satellites that are currently being developed here uh, the small uh, thermal vacuum chamber is sufficient uh, for the testing uh, the small one is this its use is to uh, to simulate the space environment because uh, in space the satellite experiences um, a wide range of temperatures and therefore you need to test uh, various um, uh, components of the satellite. Uh, this includes the batteries, the solar panels and, and the, the various circuit boards uh, inside, the satellite, inside the satellite to see whether they can withstand that kind of temperature. And currently uh, we have um, one of the tests ongoing uh, whereby we have the Tenko um, satellite components, the solar panels and the batteries uh, under test. We have uh, the components inside here, um, the solar panels and the batteries and this is the, this, this is um, the setup uh, on this particular test and um, it's a long test that takes around 36 hours and right now we have, um, we have Yesu he is from Colombia and he is the guy uh, working on this particular test and uh, he has been here for quite some time now but he is doing some good work. Currently at QTEC there are three satellite projects. Uh, these are the BIRDS project, uh, the TENCO project and the Spatium satellite. 
The BIRDS project is a global multinational project that involves several nations, each designing, building, testing, launching, and operating a CubeSat. The first phase of BIRDS comprised of Ghana, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Mongolia, and Japan. These five satellites were successfully launched from the International Space Station on the 7th July 2017. The second phase of BIRDS comprises of Philippines, Malaysia, and Bhutan. The students have finished assembling the satellites and are conducting final tests. This one is the engineering model. So we use this uh, to verify hardware because in so we have to make sure that everything is working before we touch the actual app. Uh, it's designed by the student. So from the scratch. So they will, from that they will make like this. This is breadboard model. So this is the breadboard model. So first we will evaluate the circuit if it's correct or working. Then transfer to start to draw the PCB and then fabricate. So my field is uh, about communication. So I'm designing an uh, antenna subsystem for birds to uh, keep set and also manage some uh, of the document for safety review. Mm -hmm. uh, now we are doing testing for FM model. This is a FM spare model for Birds 2 project. And now we are doing end-to-end uh, -end test just to verify our software when it's correct. Yeah, so now we are, we are getting ready. Uh, to get in the clean room where we have the flight model. Um, this is the final uh, product of the, or, or the satellite that will actually get into space. So as you can see, antenna is already deployed because we did uh, post-functionality test after the migration. <coughs> so, Usually, each country has a dedicated table so and spacers, and including the uh, manual, the procedure manual for assembly. So on that... This is the clean room where the flight models for BIRDS 2 have been assembled and are being housed. These three satellites for the Philippines, Malaysia and Bhutan are now ready for launch later this year. The other satellite project currently ongoing here at QTEC is the Tenko satellite. This is not a CubeSat, but a 20 kilogram satellite for low Earth observation, and it will be piggybacked on JAXA's GoSat 2 satellite that is scheduled for launch this year. Currently, most of the subsystems for the satellite have been designed and are undergoing various tests. Once the subsystems and the payloads operations are verified, they will be assembled into the final satellite structure. Another important part of the satellite development ecosystem is the ground station. Today's operation of the ground station is by Maisu from Bangladesh. I'll the housekeeping data. I will analyze the data momentarily. So I now have the data which I need. 